yeah, if you think you're going to do it in your own strength, then you know what? Yeah, you can do it. COVID, it's been helping people move their businesses from offline or brick and mortar to online. Systems yeah. are more important than skills as an entrepreneur today. It's yes. totally okay to reinvent yourself yes. multiple times, especially when you're an entrepreneur. Welcome to Profitable Coaching Conversations with Wendy Y. Bailey. If you're a coach, speaker, or industry expert, you're in the right place for sales and marketing wisdom and insight to grow your coaching business. Now, here's your host, Income Acceleration Mentor, Wendy Y. Bailey. Hello, everyone, again, and welcome to the show. I'm so excited to share with you another amazing guest for this episode. Dr. Terry Levine is a business strategist with heart. I love knowing that about her. I've known Terry for a number of years. I've been in my coaching business almost 19 years. And almost from the very beginning, I knew of Terry Levine. So I'm excited that I get to kind of chop it up with her today and understand what it means to be a heart heart entrepreneur. I think I said that right. Welcome, Dr. Terry. Thank you. I'm so happy to be with you, Wendy Watt. Awesome. Awesome. So let's kind of jump in. Tell us about your, your journey to become a heart entrepreneur. Did I say that right? Yes, you said it perfectly. Okay, awesome. Um, so prior to heart entrepreneur, I had owned eight different, completely different multi-million dollar businesses. I kind of have a knack for growing businesses. Mm-hmm. And I started in the consulting, coaching, business strategy field about 27 years ago. And about I think it was almost eight years ago, I renamed my company to Heart Entrepreneur. I trademarked the word, branded it, logoed it, you know, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to disrupt the way people were doing business, which wasn't authentic. It wasn't transparent. It wasn't always done with integrity. And that's what Heart Entrepreneur stands for. I love it. I love it. And I'm part of your your online community of heartpreneurs. What do you see as the greatest thing that, that you help your clients and your tribe to understand? Is it that authenticity? Is it that integrity? Or is there something more? There is something more. I'm really glad you asked that. It's doing business without sales and marketing. And they know to the average person that doesn't sound possible. So they're spending time, you know, blogging and on social media and they're creating content. And but you can do all of business without any content whatsoever. We have 80 prospects this week, 80, 80. Wow. Without doing any of that. So it's very easy once you learn and you automate systems and literally ideal prospects flow in every day. And that is the biggest problem that most business owners have. And that's why they don't make enough money and sometimes credit. Wow. The, the thing that I thought when you said that was, but remember, I'm a sales and marketing coach. So, so what do you say to somebody like me? Like I have the answer in my head, but I want to hear your thoughts and then I'll chime in. What do you say to the sales and marketing coach in me who, who focuses on sales and marketing? Yeah, there's a way to do sales and marketing where yeah. everything is systematized, leveraged and optimized. Mm-hmm. And you're only doing what's proven to work. And just to give an example, I recently had a new client family member sign on with me and she's like, well, I'm finishing what I was doing in someone else's program. So I have to create PowerPoints. I have to watch 20 more videos. I, and, and she must have named 50 things. And I'm like, okay, throw all the pastors in the garbage. You don't have to do any of that. Mm-hmm. Let's just work on automated systems that deliver your marketing and your sales and do it in an authentic way and automate it so you leverage your free time. I love that. The thought that I had in my mind was it's about relationship marketing. It's about connection and it's less about the technology and the content. You said something recently and I heard and I thought, wow, that's amazing. What you said recently was that um, if, if you're working with someone who's teaching you to create content to build your business, they're teaching you the wrong thing. Say a little bit more about that. Like I get it. Yeah, I know you a little bit more about that. Yeah. So what I have found being in this industry and working with over 6,000 different business owners in this industry is that people are hiding behind their computer doing busy work. They think if they design the perfect website, write the perfect blog article, have the perfect PowerPoint, the, the right logo, somehow 
that is going to ring the cash register. And they're spending a lot of time creating all these things that are assets that in my experience, they really don't need. Like I don't have a business card, I have nothing, literally. I have nothing other than me opening relationships with people coming from the heart and being of service and to help. That's it. And instead of wasting your time creating stuff, why don't you go talk to five people and have real conversations and help them? Yeah, very, very true. Very, very true. Now, if there's one lesson that you, beyond being a heartpreneur and in, in that authenticity, authenticity and integrity, what's one thing that you've learned in almost 27 years, you said, of being a business owner? And, you know, I know that there's a lot that you learn that you pour into your, your company today, but, you know, what's something else that you've learned? What is the, the last 27 years taught you uh, beyond what we just talked about? Mm, awesome question. So, all right, I've been in business like 43 years now, which doesn't even seem possible. And in this industry, 27 years. And the biggest thing for me has been to unlearn <laughs> traditional sales and marketing yeah. that is really for a bigger brand, right? We were all taught, you know, you've got to get a brand in front of people over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, Pepsi has the money to do that. The average entrepreneur does not. Right. So unlearning the that and closing and the Ben Franklin clothes and the penny clothes, just getting all of that and saying, no, that's ridiculous. It's not authentic. Throw it in the garbage. That's been the biggest gift. Once I unlearned that, business became easy, effortless, joyful, and fun. So if you haven't learned those things, don't. <laughs> yeah. And I and I love that you said throw it all away because you don't have to have that. The other thing that I love that you said is understanding. You didn't say it this way, but I'll paraphrase. Understanding what's really important is about the human connection and about the the relationship that you build with people. What do you say to somebody who says, well, how do I do that with the masses? So I will tell you that if you want to do something like that with the masses, the best way to do it right now is through webinars and not pitching at the end. I'll probably repeat that because it's so important. Not pitching at the end. Mm -hmm. Create an educational webinar that's really high value so that a lot of people can see it automated. So people can see it with their convenience. We're all in different schedules and different time zones and people have different things happening in their lives. Automate it. It's for the masses. Let them watch it whenever. And at the end, don't even pitch anything. Make it just something that you give away that demonstrates how much value you can bring and go help people through that webinar. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about leverage. Like you said earlier, leverage for sure. Awesome, awesome. So we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to walk through our signature segment called Profitable Wisdom. Sound good? Sounds fun. Okay, we'll be right back. How do you create sustainable success in your business? It means that you're focused on creating a message for your most ideal client that magnetizes them to you. They're clamoring to work with you because of the messaging you have that shares with them your ability to solve their problem. It also means that you're working daily, weekly, and monthly on the right actions to impact your bottom line profits. Yeah, you want to increase them, but you've got to focus on moving away from the energy drainers and the time wasters to work with people that you are clearly designed to support in your business. It also means elevating your sales game. You've got to be really good at selling if you're in business and you've got to know the right way to step into your sales game and elevate it so that you're authentic and true to who you are and you're able to really and truly solve the problem your client presents when he or she comes to you. I'm Wendy Y. Bailey, known as your Income Acceleration Mentor. And I'm so excited that I'm going to be delivering another Income Acceleration Day, and you're invited. It's a virtual group coaching intensive designed specifically for people in the transformation space, like coaches and speakers and industry experts and marketplace influencers and CEOs and entrepreneurial leaders and consultants, all working on making a difference in the lives of people. Maybe it's in their business, maybe it's in their personal lives. It's all about transforming the people you serve. It's virtual, no traffic, no travel, 
And when we get together, we roll up our sleeves and we create that messaging that you're really looking for. We also look at what your income producing activities are. We get rid of the energy drainers and time wasters in your business. It's also about understanding and identifying multiple streams of active and passive income so that when you focus on the right things, you know exactly what your bottom line is going to look like. And then finally, we're going to do what we need to do to elevate your sales game. It's a must. It's easy. I promise you're going to love wearing the new sales game that you have going forward. Income Acceleration Day is happening soon, and I'd love for you to join me. Go to www.incomeaccelerationday.com and get ready because it's all about accelerating your income quickly, growing your bottom line profits so that you can create the sustainable success you desire in your business too. See you there. Hi, my name is Ann Betts, and you're tuned into the Profitable Coaching Conversation Show with Wendy Y. Bailey. Please comment, like, review, and subscribe now so you know when the next episode is live. Hi, I'm Rashonda Pratt, known online as The Rose Show Live, and you're tuned in to Profitable Coaching Conversations with Wendy Y. Bailey. Make sure to like, comment, review, subscribe so you'll know when the next conversation goes live. Hi, I'm Dr. Roberta Shaler, and you're tuned in to the Profitable Coaching Conversation Show with Wendy Y. Bailey. Make sure that you like, comment, and review. Subscribe now so that you will know when the next episode goes live, and you'll be glad you did. Okay, welcome back. We are talking with business strategist and heart entrepreneur, Dr. Terry Levine. I don't know why I have such a hard time with that word. It's such a delicious word. Oh. You know, it really, really is. So let's go through our profitable wisdom segment. These are questions that I ask every single guest because it's about sharing your insight and, and something that's really going to add additional value to our conversation. So what's the, the, who's had the greatest influence on you in your life? Oh, I am going to say that Zig Ziglar was probably the biggest influencer mm -hmm. when I started my second business and really just didn't even have a mentor or coach. I had no one. Um, I came across the amazing Zig Ziglar. I took all the money in the world, literally, that I had. Mm -hmm. And I hired Zig directly. And to this day, I still play Zig things in my head that reminds me how to live. And my whole philosophy is hard to hard ignore based on passing it forward and helping as many people as I can really still came from what I learned from Zig Ziglar. Yeah, yeah. People don't know that he was not just a master salesperson. He was not just a, a master speaker. He mastered a lot of things and made them work just from a place of authenticity, integrity, you know, uh, sharing, wholeness, perspective, perception. You know, he, he was amazing. He, he definitely was amazing. And I love what you said because you embody one of his expressions. And that is, if you want to, what is it? If you want to earn a living, then um, show as many, help as many people as you can to um, know how to do what you do. Something like that, right? Yeah, and so basically, I mean, in terms of entrepreneur, we basically say we grow by helping as many people grow as we possibly can, and that comes back to us. And that really comes from his whole philosophy, um, which I just took to heart. The first time I heard it, I'm like, that's all I'm going to do is focus on helping people. And as I said, you know, I have eight multi-million dollar businesses just by doing that. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. So um, what's the best business advice you've ever received? Um, it was from a business consultant. This, this has to be like 28 or 29 years ago, mm -hmm. who actually said to me, Terry, no is a sentence. That's it. It's a sentence. You don't have to justify a no, because I grew up with, <laughs> with uh, you know, polite little girl syndrome and Oh, no, but, and no, maybe. And, and it was very, very difficult for me to say no. And I learned now when someone asks me something, if it's not possible, if it's not on my radar screen, if it doesn't oscillate, I can just say no. no. 
Mm-hmm. And that's just been so helpful in, in the last. It's huge. Last. Yeah. You don't have to explain it. You don't have to go into any detail. Just know. Love it. Love it. So what's been your largest single sale, the amount and the circumstances? So the largest one was $147,000. Um, and basically I offered at an event one person to have me for an entire year build their whole business for them. And I guaranteed I would turn that into a multi-million dollar business or they get their money. Back. Wow. And it was really interesting because, you know, who knows if you have people at that price range, I just put it out there because I, I felt like it. And I had someone not just run up to me on stage. She literally knocked somebody else out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She was serious but about here, that. With, with her Amer- a black American express, which basically means you have no limit in right, a hand, right. she was ready. And um, she's gone on to do, I think this current year, she's doing about $7.2 million. So Amazing. Amazing. So did you do something to celebrate that, that victory? Um, I did something with her to celebrate it because both of us felt like we won. And so immediately after the event, I actually took her to a celebration dinner and uh, we had a bottle of really expensive champagne that we enjoyed together. And Actually, she's probably become one of my, she's still a client family member. She's also one of my very dearest friends. So that celebration kind of kicked off our journey together. Very, very nice. I love what you said. I said 140,000 because I just wanted to. Mm -hmm. That takes such a depth of courage that most people don't have. What do you think has brought you that depth of courage? Good question. Um, really, it's because I know I can get results. So if I was going to offer something at a price where I thought, well, I hope I can get somebody a result, I might not deliver the value, I wouldn't have the courage to do it. For me, I know that I can do it. I have a 200% ROI guarantee, or I give you your money back plus $5,000. So the confidence The courage um, was simply knowing I can do this. I choose to do it. I can only do it for one person because it's, you know, very much involving my time. And I want to just do it for one person as a way of giving back. It really, for the amount of time, energy, resources, proprietary knowledge the person got was probably worth a lot more than that. Um, And actually probably underpriced it. And that's okay too. Yeah, but but it was a number that you felt confident in and you stood confident in with a guarantee. I think that's amazing. It really is. So we all have those times, uh, Dr. Terry, when we think of giving up, we consider it. Some of us move through it. Some of us don't. So what has helped you when you were faced with those thoughts of giving up? So I use this five question framework. Um, I use it as a coaching foundation for self coaching. And I also teach it to my client family members. And the very first question is really the one I'll share that's most important in this moment, which is what is working? What is working? So even when you look around and you know things in the world aren't working or maybe there's something wrong in your business or your personal health or your relationship, Either you can choose to focus on that, which is going to bring up more like-minded thoughts of what isn't working, what isn't working, or you can stop and say, well, what is working? So just as an example, uh, almost over 16 years ago now, I got a neurological disease, literally overnight, perfectly healthy, and all of a sudden I was you know, in bed for uh, two years with neurological disease, told them mm-hmm. never to walk again. There was a moment in my life where I did want to give up, and I started stop the pity party and go to what is working. And miraculously, that is what got me through. Um, And I had to remind myself of the question. So I highly suggest as a listener, you write down what is working and you use that question for yourself a lot of times during the day. Awesome, awesome. And you know, I gotta find out what are the other four questions? (laughs) I was like, oh, she said there were five. That was only one and look at how powerful that was yeah you gonna tell us oh man so um i'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail because this is for prior third i will i understand i understand right. the second question 
is what makes it work. So you go, what is working? And then you go, what mm -hmm. makes it work? And the purpose behind that is really based on quantum mechanics. If you keep someone in the energy for 17 seconds or more, literally the neurology of the brain just starts focusing on what is going on, what is right, what is right. Yeah. The so third don't tell us the rest of them. Don't tell oh, us. Oh, okay, them. good. I love you. Yeah, because I was like, yeah, that's definitely, you can get deep into that. And I, I want to, you yeah. know, honor your proprietary okay. information. So let's move on. Um, who is it? What has had... I can't even remember the question. What personal is your greatest personal accomplishment? I'm like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm still thinking five, five. <laughs> yeah, that just means I need to connect with you to, to learn from exactly. your I talk client that. family members. That's what that means. So what's been your greatest personal accomplishment outside of your business? A hundred percent, my incredible marriage, um, without a doubt. I, I met my husband when I was 16 years old. We started dating when we were 17. We got married when we were 22. And we have been together on the journey for a long, long time. <laughs> Let me just say that. Yeah, and that's a long time. Long As my pastor would say, a long stretch of years. And I will say um, why I call it an accomplishment is it does take work on both of our parts. It, yeah. it takes learning how to communicate and learning how to hear and feel and share. And there's so many pieces of it. And I really feel every single day that I'm, I'm so proud of how we've grown together, even though we've both gone on to do very different things in our lives we figured out a way to like always be together on the journey and it's just made my life so incredibly juicy. Yeah. Yeah. People don't understand. Like if anyone's ever been in a marriage or a relationship of any kind, it does take work. It takes effort, yeah. you know, not necessarily hard work always, but you've got to just be mindful and thoughtful and consider the other person and, you know, in, engage with people in a way that, you know, the other person in a way that honors them just as much as they honor you, do so to honor you. So I get it. So we're going to take another break. And when we come back, we'll share, we'll hear from Terry, her parting thought. So with we'll over 20 right years experience supporting clients and becoming organized, Lorianne Stepp, the clutterologist, understands the direct connection of physical clutter in the home with emotional confusion in the heart. Lorianne has a natural gift and finely honed skills for helping others rediscover the balance and harmony in their lives using basic feng shui principles. Her non-judgmental and compassionate conversations with her clients help them shape a new reality as she works to organize their home or office. This unique approach combined with her ability to connect meaningfully with her clients has earned her rave reviews from many well-respected publications whether you need to tackle one stressful pile of paper clutter or reorganize your entire home one room at a time, Lorianne has simple and affordable solutions for you to stay organized. Learn more about Lorianne and her inspiring work by visiting www.clutterologist.com today. Have you heard about the new Black Business Directory? Welcome to Click Urban. Here, you can find hundreds of businesses owned by us. Whatever business professional you're looking for, they're right here. And the best part is, membership is absolutely free. Just go to www.theclickurban.com, sign up for a free account, create your free listing, and boom, you're done. Begin surfing the largest black business directory online and be seen by hundreds of customers and clients all in one place. Get exposure on all of the major search engines, including Google. Our innovative platform includes search engine optimization that will make your listing easy to find. This is the hottest new business directory created for us by us. Join today. Go to www.theclickurban.com. Hi, I am Dr. Monique, and you're tuned into the Profitable Coaching Conversation Show with Wendy Y. Bailey. Like, comment, review, and subscribe now so you're notified when the next episode goes live. Hey, this is Tanya Smith, and you're tuned into the Profitable Coaching Conversation Show with Wendy Y. Bailey. 
So make sure you like, subscribe, comment now so that you're notified when the next episode goes live. Hi, I'm Dr. Terry Levine, and you're tuned in to the Profitable Coaching Conversation Show with Wendy Y. Bale. Like, comment, review, and subscribe now so you get notified when the next episode goes live. So welcome back, everyone. We've been talking with Dr. Terry Levine, and she's shared a lot of juicy little nuggets along the way. But if there's one thing you'd like to leave our listeners and viewers with, what's that one nugget that you'd like to share, Dr. Terry? This is a big one. Um, most people have a business idea, they have a concept, they have a passion, and they go launch something. And that's a big mistake. First, survey your audience and ask this question. If I can help you get one result and only one result, what is the result that you want? If I can help you get one result and only one result, what is the result that you want? Instead of you instantly thinking everyone wants your widget or wants a course on courage and fearlessness, mm -hmm. do the research because the answers you will get will allow you to offer the market exactly what they want. And guess what? That means they'll buy. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Dr. Terry, thanks so much for being here. You have a gift for everyone. You want to describe it and we'll put the link in the show notes. Yeah. What I did is I taught a, a master class literally on how to get a conveyor belt of prospects that are ready to hire you. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. <laughs> That's what we have in my business every single day and we can have it in yours. And without spending a dime on marketing, without any marketing dollars. And I used to provide this just for my client family members, and I'm giving it away as a gift because I know it's highly valuable and I want to share. Awesome. Awesome. Great gift. Great gift. Thanks again for being here. I appreciate your time and your energy and your wisdom and your insight. It's, it's been a delight chatting with you. Thank you. I really enjoyed being with you, Wendy Wise. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So we'll see you next time for another great episode. Be sure to join us at ProfitableCoachingSociety.com. It's a growing community of coaches, speakers, industry experts, marketplace influencers, and emerging thought leaders just like you, ready to connect and share. Take care, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for tuning into Profitable Coaching Conversations with Wendy Y. Bailey. Be sure to join us at the after party at www.profitablecoachingsociety.com. We'll see you next time for more sales and marketing wisdom and insight from Wendy Y. and her amazing guests. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you know when new episodes are posted.